So Labour's Rental Rights Bill aims to increase housing standards and protect tenants, but it's definitely going to cause letting agencies and landlords challenges, and even some tenants aren't sure on the implications. Today we're going to discuss how it could impact you as a landlord. Let's get into it. Stats for you. Oh, yeah, right. we're, we're like a stats heavy one. Right now, in the market, two thirds of letting agents believe the renters' rights bill will ultimately lead to fewer properties being available to rent. Yeah. To rent. A majority, 58.5% of tenants, mm -hmm. indicated they would prefer a fixed term contract rather than what's being proposed is a periodic, periodic monthly rolling, monthly rolling contract. contract yeah. Uh, and more than half of landlords, 56% of them, say they're planning to downsize or exit the market um, with the incoming legislation being the primary reason. So, lots of turmoil. I think there's a lot of knee-jerk yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. going on yeah. here. I think we'll find that these stats won't bear. Yeah. In the if, future, if you look but, deeply at the way the question's asked as well, yeah. um, it's, it's, it's not a presumptive question, but it forces you, you, the, the, the respondent totally. to ask, answer in a particular yeah. way. So they're the headlines. It's definitely going to shake things up. Um, let's yeah, before we, before we, before yeah. we start, and I nearly I, I, we did the intro here, and I said um, renters reform bill because the renters rights bill is a rehash version of what yeah. the previous government said, exactly. and it's been coming near enough for the last decade. This yeah. whole thing, so none of this is new. Um, it's going to shake some things up, but in but a good I, way. I think yeah. a lot of it's fine. Uh, um, I mean, yeah. So there's a okay. few things we're going to touch on, right? So um, right now there is a there is a lot of demand for rental property. We've got a housing crisis um, and there is a lack of supply. Yeah. So... Is if, this going to help it? I don't, I don't think it's going to help the supply if, if people are going to sell up because you're not always necessarily going to sell to another landlord. You might. And we help landlords sell to landlords. Um, if you put your house in the open market, then, mm -hmm. you know, it, especially if you've evicted your tenant. Um, the majority of letting agents are reporting in increase in tenant inquiries. We've, we've yeah. certainly uh, yeah, yeah. No, noticed that. Um, it's calmed down a little bit because now it's quite expensive to move. Totally. So a tenant mm. doesn't have to pay fees anymore and that made it, uh, the tenants be able to move and, and chop and change quite quickly. But now most tenancies, we'll come on to this as another one of the points, they're actually under market rate. And there's, yeah. there's some of the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So moving, you generally go to a house that's more expensive. We get often a tenant put their notice in, I would like to leave, and then actually it gets rescinded. And that's exactly yeah. because they can't find anything for the right the, the, the right price. And they think, oh, actually, we'll, we will stay, we'll stay put. That's quite a common thing. Um, then obviously we've got landlords in the whole market together. Yep. Think they're gonna leave, sell up mm -hmm. because of these new reforms, because of extra expectation on compliance and tenant rights and yeah. powers and I yeah. think there's a lot of people just getting scared. I yeah, think we are... need to do a good job of that with any subject. So, so here are some facts. There are more landlords selling now than yeah. has been the case for the last de decade or so. It's not by much, but it's some. Uh, some possible reasons for that are during the last three years or so, maybe four years, um, you've kind of been on pause, haven't you? If you wanted mm. to sell five yeah, years yeah. ago, yeah. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't have. And you know, five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, when you press the unpause button and you know, COVID was, was the pause button, wasn't it? Totally. Now everybody wakes yeah. up and goes, oh, do you know what, now's the time. Then it's been accelerated by the potential, but still not talked about, not, 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 not finalized yet, potential for capital gains to be matching um, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, um, income in terms of the way it's taxed. That'll happen in the budget or if it does or doesn't. Uh, so that might be a reason for some landlords to sell right now. And there's more legislation. So some landlords are thinking, right, I'm just getting out anyway. Of course, there's always landlords getting out. There's always landlords yeah, retiring. Exactly. Now here's the interesting statistic. Um, there are more properties to rent today than there were a decade ago. It's actually not, hasn't gone up by mm. much, but it's gone up by a bit. So all of these things that are being talked about landlords getting out they're all true but they're catching up because landlords weren't getting out for the last five years so it's just catching yeah. up there's more yeah. properties to rent now than there were 10 years ago that's just the fact it is true that the average landlord owns more houses than they did back then so the single true. one two property landlord um they are maybe getting out faster than 
than than mm. than, than others. Totally. Um, yeah, yeah. So you know, there's a bit of a tug of war going on as well between you know prices and affordability. Um, and interestingly, eighty six percent of the rental market is self managed landlords. So ten, letting agencies only manage fourteen percent of the rental sector. Yeah. That's one of the main reasons for all these things: yeah. compliance expectations, a renters' rights bill, because. 86% of the housing stock in the rental market is being unprofessionally managed. Mm, yeah. That sounds yeah. harsh, but yeah. you know, most self-managed landlords miss some things. Yeah. Then, and what the biggest one is, setting their rent at market level. Biggest one for them. Yeah. Yeah, biggest yeah, yeah, one yeah, for yeah. tenant compliance um, and all those other things as well, they get, they get missed. So, so there's a lot of tenants in, you know, quote unquote, rent poverty. I think that's probably more true down south where mm. the rents have got quite yeah. extortionate in some places. Yeah. Um, rather than area. affordable. Um, but that's obviously also seen in the last year or so, um, and we see this all the time, because letting agents come to us, when, you know, offering, do you want to buy our agency? Arrears, arrears are, are high oh, yeah. in the market itself. Um, we have a very good arrears process, so we managed to keep it low, but we, what was the last agent that you looked at when you do due diligence, what was they on? 20% nearly, yeah, that's crazy. 19, 19 and a bit percent arrears. Oh, our arrears rate is 0. 0.5. Yeah, actually a little bit less than that, but yeah, zero point five is 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 our benchmark. It's, we start to go amber over that, yeah. and yeah, it just takes a bit of bit of a process and bit of management to get there. But if you don't have it, it very quickly balloons to that other number. Um, totally. So, yes. what do you think the future looks like then under Labour? Uh, you know, the new legislative agenda. I think very very similar. You know, you, you, of course there are lots of things that are talked about, and when you when you read through the um, the renters' rights bill, there's some stuff in there that if it were to get through exactly like that, it might be quite alarming. But it's not going to get through exactly like that. No. And when what you about start section twenty one then? So, what the uh, a lot so, of people are worried about that. Yeah. I, I don't see it as being a problem. So the, the removal of section 21 is a, what they call a no-fault eviction. Mm -hmm. And it means that uh, we use it all the time and there are times when you could use a section 8 under certain grounds, but it's just easier and quicker and probably cheaper to use a section 21. Bang, you're out. It's not, um, when you get to the court, there's no, it's not discretionary, you're just out. So the, the sort of um, the blueprint for how this will work is Scotland. Yeah. You'll see, Scotland have had this in for years, five, six years, um, in very, and it, it, I think there was two stages to it, but um, it, it made a difference because when the new um, document set, the new forms, it's not a assured short hold tenancy, mm -hmm. now it's assured, assured, the short hold bit comes out because it's effectively a rolling, then the ability to get your house back um, if you want to move in or sell, just falls under section eight now. Yeah. Um, how many landlords want to get their house back? Some, some, that does, that does yeah, need to happen. Yeah, one and two people yeah. landlords might yeah, move yeah, back yeah. in. So, but you've still got that route to do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, if your tenant is paying the rent and looking after the house. And you want to sell. Well, I was, I was saying it, for, for all of our landlords mm. who just want to keep them forever, it doesn't, it doesn't really make, makes yeah. no difference at all. Yeah. Um, so. Or I, if you I, want to sell it, you don't, and the tenant's paying the rent, you want to keep them in it. It makes it a more attractive thing. Massive, massive <coughs> um, myth that um, you know, uh, uh, the, the kind of house that you want to, not a massive myth, for, for our landlords and diff, diff, different properties. So the kind of properties that we rent out are generally a bit smaller, a bit cheaper, and we've got high yielding. We, we go for mm, high yielding, true, so true. up to a £1,500 a month rent. If you're renting out the old family home and it's five grand a month or whatever, maybe that's a different kettle yeah, of fish. But yeah, if yeah. if you want to sell a property that you've already got a tenant in, and it's a you know the rent versus the uh, the mortgage is right, it's a decent yield. Sell it with the tenant in. Mm. You don't have to kick them yeah. out. You don't have to um, do the place up because it's a bit run down. Maybe so what we're saying then is section twenty one. I don't think removal of no fault evictions. We're not that worried about it. Not that worried about um, it. Tell us in the comments if you are. Um, so yeah, the future again. Periodic tenancies are going to become a thing. It looks like, but 58% mm. of tenants don't want that. They want the security of a 12 or a six month contract to know that they can't be given. Well, I think it's going to become four months from two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Notice that they've got to move out. You can work time. with it and live with it. Yeah. Next one would be uh, changes to minimum energy, minimum, easy for me to say, energy standards. Um, yeah, so a lot of agents think landlords are going to be affected 
negatively by this. Mm -hmm. When they say that, they mean it's going to cost them some money yeah. and they've got to spend some money on their big, head. Big numbers are banded around, so oh. it would be £10,000 to get it up to the level. Mm. I just don't see it. We've, we've, no. we've done that and we've done it very cheaply. I mean, totally. The, yeah. We do a minor renovation to a property, then um, you know, TRVs, thermostatic radiator valves on radiators, LEDs, a little bit of insulation mm -hmm. in the loft. You're, yeah, pretty much, you get you're pretty much there. You get and there. most of it will happen on minor maintenance going forward. The big capital expenditure would be um, a boiler, but it, your, boiler's, yeah. your boiler's definitely going to break during this time. Fix it, True. put a modern one in and add those LEDs and the insulation, yeah. you're there. Um, so I know, so I think on the whole, there is uncertainty in mm -hmm. the lettings property management market. Um, and I think some landlords agents are struggling with the stress of that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, there's a sort of a, a, an ill feeling, a lack of morale. Um, That's definitely true, because there's a lot, a lot of negative news. Yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, a lot when of you people dig might deep. not know that all agents are gonna have to be mm -hmm. all are qualified or equivalent. It's an A-level standard. It is, yeah. Um, so I think all landlords should. Well, that's, do you know what, that's a really, so it, 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 it's, it's the proposal that letting agencies must be qualified to a certain level. Mm. And at the moment, there's no such qualification needed for a landlord. There is a proposal that landlords get put on the register yeah. and maybe that register might, you might have to have that qualification, but that's not in there just yet. But I'm, you can see where that's going. And of course that's going to um, impact landlords and can they get there? And, but the easy way to get over that, I think personally, is to get an agent. Exactly. As a, we're, we're a letting agent. Uh, we're looking forward to meeting more um, yeah. landlords who want to get professional more landlords who start to use agents now than yeah. ever before. And then yeah. being secretly surprised and very happy knowing that they can get rid of all, the, all of that hassle and time and all the things that they're spending mm. and probably make more money while still paying agent fees because most agents, so most self-employed landlords, self-managing landlords, don't charge the right amount for their rent, don't put the rent up often enough, spend yeah. too much money on maintenance, exactly. have voids that are too long. If you manage it properly, then um, you end up making more money and yeah. still pay your agent to do a good job. So um, we're gonna do the pause thing. Yeah. So we're gonna press pause on the video now. You let us know in the comments what you think the impact of the renter's right bill is gonna be, uh, if you agree with us. So we'll pause now. And then we've unpaused it, so hopefully the, uh, you put your comments in there, we'll reply yeah. back to anything that uh, needs a reply. Um, how do people get in touch? If yeah. people want a professional management exactly. of their portfolio. You, or if you just want to talk about this and how you yeah. think it might impact you, follow the link in the description, wherever you're watching or listening to this, and um, you can book a call with me. It's time that suits you. So yeah, thank you for Thanks listening, for listening. Like and subscribe, it really helps the algorithm. Bye. Yeah. Bye for now. Cheers.